Mona Passage, Mona Passage. The contender is cooking on the table. Oh, yo quiero taco bell. Muchas gracias, adios. Muchas gracias. Goodbye, Puerto Rico. Hello. Last buoy. Mona Passage. There's our final view of Puerto Rico. Seas are super calm right now, which is great. Going into the Mona Passage. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> we are on the way, finally. Why is the Mona Passage so treacherous? There's because only you have the whole Atlantic Ocean funneling into a smaller passage. Mm. I also read, I think that oh, it that goes from like them. 2,000 feet deep to 100 feet deep in certain, yes. I guess at the right. shoals maybe, yeah. at the hourglass shoals. It's like a funnel. It's like a funnel. Yeah, exactly. And they did a song after this passage. Mona Passage, Mona Passage, GPS <laughs> or... Okay, so this is Steve Cash. Good morning. Steve, we're so happy you're aboard. Tell us why you've decided to come on this journey. This will be my longest o ocean passage, and um, I'm primarily a trawler guy. Love to sail my whole life and uh, wanted to be on the adventure. And we are glad you're here. It's been a lot of fun. Awesome. And the weekend jail furlough was very lenient and allowed him to come. Just like in the British Navy, they wouldn't have had a Navy if it weren't for criminals. <laughs> and that's why I'm here. <laughs> and how do you guys know each other? Worked together in 1987, 88, I think. It Way back. Yes, yeah, a long time ago. I was a photographer. And if you need a great Photographer, Steve's yeah. available. SteveCast.com. Steve the dreaded Mona Passage. And she is as calm as could be, at least for the moment. The wind is only 5.8 apparent, and we are moving at 5.9, uh, which means basically we have no wind. We hired Chris Parker to help us choose our window, which has really helped us. It's going to be a motoring trip, unfortunately, not a sailing trip, but we prefer that over rough seas and variable conditions. We're really happy uh, at the moment that it's calm. It's going to take us about 48 hours to get to Luberon. We plan to arrive around 5 in the morning. At this point, we are probably going to have to motor most of the way up to at least our waypoint, which will be closer to the Dominican Republic side. <laughs> Look at them, they're so beautiful. Oh, they're, wow. Wow. Hi, guys. Hey, boys. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is the coolest thing oh, ever. Beautiful. Oh, I love them so much. You guys like to play, don't you? Yeah, that was for sure the most amazing counter I've ever had with uh, dolphins. How about you, Steve? Very good. Pretty amazing. That was definitely the most we've seen at any one time. We are four hours into our journey coming right on our nose, which is a bit of a surprise. That's not what was predicted at eight and a half knots. And we are traveling at 6.1 knots at the moment. The contender is cooking on the table. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Bubba Burger Sweet Onion versus George Foreman. He is fighting the cold from the freezer. George Foreman's fighting back. He is marching on. The burger and it's sloshing back and forth. Oops, we have an emergency going on. Stay tuned. We will come back once we get this cleaned up. Thank you for joining in. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button, the like button, share. Sharing is very nice, especially when you have burger burgers and we don't. George is definitely winning. He has pulverized the juice out of him. Whoa, yeah, oh, oh, almost. <laughs> the 
beauty of flat seeds is we get to work on our videos. Great job, sweetie. We've been traveling now for more than 10 hours. We've had the port side engine running the whole time and hoping that when we hit this next waypoint in the next two hours that we'll start to pick up some wind. I love how the pink is reflected in the water. It's been a rough uh, passage this morning with the north swell kicking up and short period between the waves. So we are looking forward to getting around this corner here and being able to put up the sail. So we're going into the waves against the wind. We put up the main, we put up the jib, we drive the sail, but the wind angle is just way too close to the wind. So that didn't work. All day long, we have been beating into the wind. Uh, the wind's coming from the north, especially coming from the east. It's very unusual for this time of year. So in the final moments of the day, we are headed further out to the Atlantic Ocean to try and avoid these fishing lines. We don't know exactly what they are, but we're really hoping that we don't catch them on our props. And that is our destination right there. That is Luperon. Wow, it's hard to believe after 50 some odd hours on the water, we are actually entering the Dominican Republic and looking forward to dropping anchor and getting some rest. We've got a little bit of a treacherous entrance here. We need to be really careful and cautious. So I'm out front doing some spotting and hopefully we'll get in here without incident. Wow, that reef is really close. Hola, señor. When do you arrive? Uh, just now. Where are you from? Uh, from Puerto Rico. We'll put the courtesy flag up now. Okay, okay. Take, it, take a moment. I'm gonna check the whole boat. I'm coming to you right now. Okay, gracias. Welcome to the boat. It's so funny that they let us into their country before we've even gone through immigration. Heck yeah. It's laid back. It's way out of big. Where few people have come before. Gotta have a boat to get here. <laughs> this is pretty smile. Hola! Hello! Got Hola, little come sister and big zig. Yo quiero Taco Bell! Hey boy! That is crazy! That is like something out of Dr. Seuss. That's a, insane. No way. Wow. Oh, thank you. Oh my God. Oh, so kind. Como se llama? Carolina. 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 Wow. Muy bueno. That is incredible. Muy bonita. Oh. No way. <gasps> Whoa! Oh this is Horton Here's a Who. This is amazing. Que increíble. Que bueno. Que bueno. 
Oh ah, bueno. Gracias. Oh, muchas gracias. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so nice. That is amazing. Gracias, amigos. Gracias. Man, that just shows you how nice the people are here. Wow, the people are so nice. He just climbed a tree to get this down for us. That was so cool. That was very cool. Look at how beautiful these are. Horton, here's a who. Um, Gracias. Gracias. Man. Mwah. Hello, bro. Hey. Hey. Oh, that's good. These are probably made in India. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I'm herding them over your way. After walking the town to get money from the ATM to pay immigration fees, we return to complete the process. Hola, Carlos! Hola. <laughs> Talk to us. Wow, that was a long process. First we have the Navy, then we have immigration, then we had uh, the port fee, and now we have agriculture, and uh, the cost is 120 US to come here for okay. two days. The people here are so nice, yeah, yeah. so nice. Uh, and they're helping me with my Spanish and being very patient, so. Babe, you're rocking the uh, Spanish, you're doing that. great. Yeah, I did. Trying. You're natural. <laughs> And you're Chelsea? Chelsea was my daughter who was killed tragically 13 years ago. Oh. But this is in her memory and we leave it like that. So it's all about everybody coming together and just enjoying themselves. It's awesome. The love of all people. In, which, in your name? I'm Yvonne. Yvonne, thanks. Yes. Looking good, Johnny. You show your love through the food. Yeah. You're loving us well. Well, I've been eating here for, well, I don't order anymore. She just oh. gives me something. Yeah, yeah. That means it's home. Yeah. Down with the quarantine, up with the Dominican Republic flag. All right, we are official. We are in Luperon, and this is the anchorage or the mooring ball field. We had a spot way over there. It was way too close to the mangroves. Anyway, we have since moved and we've got this great spot now here, which has wonderful windage. Very thankful to be here. Very thankful to be in a boat that's not moving right now. And the Dominican Republic is truly beautiful.